Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Automate with Rakesh. Please do subscribe and hit on the bell icon to stay up to date with UiPath knowledge. In this video, we are bringing a complex situation to a round of decimals. Here if you see in this column, there are different kinds of data. You know, few are numbers, few are text, few are phone numbers, few are hyperlinks, few are you know, different kinds of data is there in one column. And here the requirement is there that anywhere you find a number, you need to round off that decimal, round off to zero. That means it's let's say 15.89 should be rounded off to 16. 98.45 should be rounded off to 98. That means no decimal values, just the numbers, right? Round off. So how do you round off uh, this in such a context is something we need to see. In the previous video, I have shown you how to do that simply rounding of the numbers that I have shown. Now we need to improvise the logic and make it more uh, acquainted for this particular situation. Okay. Now the things are pretty simple. We are using an Excel application scope and to do all this I am use I am not using the modern activities rather using the classic activities. Both are same. You know all our goal is to learn the syntax but again uh, the formats are almost same so classic I am using and these are all classic activities which I have clearly shown in the previous video. So Excel application scope read range I am reading the data from the sheet number 2 where it has the data and then I am storing that into a variable called dt1 variable if you see okay and using a for each loop and going through this loop and this loop what this one does this loop has a formula okay this is the syntax which is responsible to convert the values from that column to you know to round round to round off those decimals so here is the syntax math dot round convert to double so first current row number one means this is having the storing the value of the column right one by one when the loop is running it is going to hold these values one by one and I'm first converting this values to double. Double means anything has a decimal number or floating value, right? Convert to double. So I've done that. The formula is quite simple. Math dot round. That's all. If you have to make it to, uh, let's say two digits, all I have to do is I have to write comma two. That means it will round up to two. If you want to make it to zero, you can write zero, leave it blank. Okay, up to you. So this is how we do it. Okay. This is the syntax we have learned. But here the situation is, you know it it will not work because when a b c d comes next while you are trying to convert this a b c d value right the when the loop runs for the second time it cannot convert and it's going to throw error so that time you should not convert so the condition is that you should not round off the any string values phone numbers or and all this okay you should not round off so how to do that let me show you first of all if i run this logic okay and uh, right below that i am just saying current row I'm storing this to a new value and here I'm simply saying current row number which represents the cell value while the loop is running uh, under that column and I'm assigning the new value and write range okay this I have clearly explained in the previous video in case you have smallest doubt please do watch my previous video just before this okay so I'm writing this so if I run this particular uh, workflow on the current excel right this is the status of my excel if I run it here, what's going to happen? So first thing, it will change. But this for the second one, it is going to throw the error, yes or no? So just wait for a second. And anytime, the automation will start. Okay, so the automation has started. Now, now what happened here? If you see, uh, in the assign activity, input string was not in a correct format. This is the error which I was expecting, because for the first one it is okay. For the second time when it picks A B C D, it will immediately throw error, because that's a string value. It cannot convert it to decimal, right? It cannot convert to double or decimal. It is not possible. So now. How do you act? Now tell me, you should have thought about the uh, logic, right? All I have to do, I will use a try catch. Okay. So, where I am using a try catch here? I am using a try catch and, and this for each row uh, that is happening, right? Let it happen here. Where? In the 
uh, in the tri section of the tri catch block now while this is happening um, 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 so let's not put the entire four inch row into that um, because the error would happen um, yeah, even that's fine that's fine so let's say what would happen in the tri catch block in the second time when the loop is running it's going to throw an error when it throws and it will go here again um, will it again come to try no it will not come so within the tri block we should not put it let me do control z let me tell you what where should i use this tri block okay so this is the normal one so what i will do i'll use a tri catch block over here inside the for each loop okay and here what i'm going to do i'm going to use both these activities inside the tri block so what would happen when it picks the second value it will throw an error the moment it throws an error and what kind of error that was system exception error right system dot format exception error okay so what i will do in the catch section i am going to simply define system exception so what would happen previously it was throwing an error and the sequence was breaking it was stopping the project was completely stopping because i have used a try catch block it will understand there is an exception okay it will understand there is an exception what kind of exception it is a system exception but i am not defining anything any activity inside the exception i am leaving it blank so what this will do okay this is done its job it is not going to stop the project the for each loop is on top of it it's going to pick the second next value and it will do the same thing it will come to the try if there is no error it will continue to the for each book if there is an error it will come to the cache section and the, the project won't stop so here the technique is i am using a try catch block so if i run it now you will see okay this are you know few techniques which you should master now if you see the last time the project was failing because of a use of a try catch block right which is responsible to if there is an any kind of a error in your project it will hold it you know and will not break the project or break the workflow so here so what happened if you see uh, all these values has been rounded off to two decimals do you see and it did not touch anything the phone number hyperlink it left as it is right so it has done the job now let's say i want to round it off to in uh, no decimals okay so all i have to do remove the two click on okay run it again now keep looking at the excel file it will all happen in a matter of few seconds so it should 15.9 should become 16 right so let's see do not highlight or do not keep in the edit mode of the excel that time your automation might fail okay i mean do not click on the cell okay so the automation started you can see did you see it has changed the values to 16 and all, all of this so this is how this uh, round off of decimal can be done in this complex situation okay so you have learned how to do the round of decimals so thank you guys for watching this please do subscribe and please do hit on the bell icon to stay up to date we update videos on a regular basis so ensure you are enabling the notification icon to get notified and learn from the videos that we are uploading on a regular basis thank you guys till then take care bye bye